Hi guys, today I want to talk about remote switches. So I bought the one from Canon, the remote switch um, R60 E3, uh, about four months ago, and now I'm not using it anymore. So I want to tell you why. So when you get into long exposure photography, um, a lot of people, photographers, will tell you that you shouldn't be pressing um, the shutter with your finger because you will move the camera. Even if you have a good tripod, you will, you know, you would add some vibration to your shot. This is the main reason why I got this little guy here. Uh, I could have used a timer. There is a two-second or ten-second timer, but I didn't feel like adding two seconds to every single shot that I take. And sometimes I take 50 or 100 shots in a row. Uh, plus, I wanted to be able to lock the switch. Um, to use it in bulb mode to do some extra long exposure from 30 seconds to an hour or two. But now, on most cameras, you can use the LCD on the back to trigger your shots. Activate the touch shutter feature on the back of your camera and touch the screen to take the picture. Magical! And you can also use the LCD to start a long exposure in bulb mode. And wait for it, you also get a timer. You don't need to check your watch anymore or get a remote with a built-in timer. You just tap the screen and you wait. The only thing is you need to be next to your camera to stop the exposure. When I say tap, I mean gently touching the screen. I've done some tests using my finger or using the remote. And as you can see on both shots, it's sharp. It's exactly the same. Another reason to use the LCD over the switch uh, is that I do a lot of night photography and it's always hard to find this one, plug it in and use it in the dark. At least you never lose your LCD screen. A few things to keep in mind when we're using the LCD. Uh, it will drain more battery. And also if you're using a flash, uh, you can't trigger the flash in live view. Um, I don't think you're gonna do that very often. You know, long exposure shots with a flash, um, but now you know. So do you still need a remote switch um, for your camera in 2017? And for me, the answer is no. If your camera allow you to trigger the shots within the LCD, you can save yourself between $400 and $100. And more important, you can remove an accessory from your bag. Unless space is an issue and you can't carry a lot of batteries or you want to use the flash, um, maybe the remote is still useful after all. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thumbs up if you like it. And uh, if you loved it, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. Uh, oh my god, I didn't record. I just spoke five minutes straight without filming. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Let's start that again. Okay.